The Speaker and his team rammed through the first impeachment of a statewide official in Texas in over 100 years while paying no attention to the precedent that the House set in every other impeachment before. They put themselves at personal and professional risk to protect the people of the state of Texas from Mr. Paxton's persistent determination to help Nate Paul at any cost. We owe it to future legislatures to make these changes so that no future official impeached by the House, whether Republican, Democrat, or Independent, is subject to the way this impeachment process occurred. And good evening to you. I'm Tom Zisco. We are glad to have you with us. We begin with the breaking news from Austin, where Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton has been acquitted of all 16 articles of impeachment that he was facing. After a nearly two-week trial in the Texas Senate, senators voted this morning in a process that took nearly two hours. Not a single article got close to the 21 votes needed to convict and remove Paxson from office. He was not present for today's vote. The Republican was accused of misconduct, bribery, and corruption. Paxson has now been reinstated to his position as te Texas's top attorney. In May, he was suspended from carrying out his duties when the Texas House voted overwhelmingly to impeach him. You can review the case and the vote on our website, fox26houston.com.